So let's go on to a very personal area. Let's talk about erectile dysfunction. I assume that means you've got a problem with your willy. Um, yep. Now, the blue tablets, yep. okay, have been going around the city yep. for the last 10, 20 years. I'm sure that, dare I say it, some of my friends use them for the wrong reasons, all right? Yep. Is that dangerous? It's not actually dangerous. I think they're a great uh, improvement for people. And, uh, you know, everyone wants to have a fun and active sex life. Yep. Uh, I was lucky enough to see some of the early researchers on Viagra. And what happened was that uh, they were trying to improve uh, blood flow through the heart. And the trial participants kept coming back, which they didn't normally do. Right. And it was the trial participants who told the researchers that it yeah. had this other effect. effect. Okay. Um, so what we've got, we've got a medication that increases the value vascular supply to the penis, which means that you can now uh, have an erection and, and do what you need to do. Oof. Unfortunately, the reason that people tend to have a problem yep. is related to damage to those vessels over time. Some of that damage is caused by smoking, interestingly enough. Right. So uh, when you first have a problem with erectile dysfunction, yep. it can be a clue to other problems in other parts of the body. So that's why it's wise to have so a this basic could be an er This is like an early could warning be, signal. Could be an early warning signal. So it's a good reason to have a checkup with your doctor yep. uh, before, rather than just starting the tablets. And then the doctor can check whether it's safe for you to take the tablets. Yep. And after that, you take the tablets to ensure that you have a normal sex life. But Dr. Charlie, OK, I'm pretty open, pretty yep. straightforward. We've gone through a whole number of areas, OK? Mm -hmm. I think I would have difficulty going to a doctor, going, Doctor, I've got a problem with my willy. Valid point. And that's why a lot of people go to private doctors. So there are plenty of private facilities. So how do I find a private doctor? OK, it's very easy. Who's Lloyd, an expert no, in well, I, I'll tell you, Lloyd's Pharmacy, for example, yep. have an online doctor system exactly for this reason. Right. So what you do, you go onto the Lloyd's Pharmacy website, yep. you say, I've got a concern about erectile dysfunction, yep. you'll have, as I understand, a video consultation. Really? Yeah, you'll have a video consultation. Once the doctor's happy that there's no significant risk, then you'll be prescribed safe, legal medication. If you just buy it off a mate in the pub, there is a risk that you're buying something very dodgy with, which is, you know, like if you bought cocaine, you, it's mixed in with things. Right. So people are doing that with uh, drugs, blue pills, as you So say. these blue pills that people offer you in the pub or whatever, okay, Obviously, I, I not, wouldn't take, not a good I wouldn't idea. Take, because you don't know the provenance. You don't know where they came from. Uh, sometimes what's happened is that uh, some night manager from the factory that's producing the official product <laughs> ha is sidelining the thing. But usually, to increase their profits, they're mixing it with something else. And this, it's a something else that may cause you uh, side effects that we don't even know. Right. In terms of age groups, um, is this particularly prevalent um, sort of yeah I think 40s, I'd say 50s, 40s, 30s, onwards, 40s right. onwards and I think the thing with men is it, you know it's embarrassing you know that you've got a gorgeous woman there in front of you and suddenly you know it's uh, not working, it's not working. <laughs> uh, but we should accept the fact that it happens not be embarrassed by it seek help as I said there's online solutions now there's private solutions I accept the fact a lot of people who built a relationship with their GP don't want to tell their GP that particular yeah. issue Oh, I couldn't think of anything worse than going to my GP and going, I've got a problem Absolutely. downstairs. No, you know, I understand because, that. I understand you know, that's that. all, and, and she's a female. Well, that's another issue for men as well. I think that um, what we as guys need to do, we need to find ways that we can have these medical conversations, whether it's testicular cancer, whether it's other issues. Uh, we need to have those conversations. Women are great because they have those conversations on a regular basis. We as guys are often too embarrassed to have them. And we shouldn't be embarrassed, should we? Because no. the doctors have been there, seen it, done it, and Absolutely. are on their side, I guess. Absolutely. And, you know, um, uh, the average GP has limited time. Uh, there is problems booking in, you require half a day off work. So I do understand those reasons that people also wouldn't go to their GP. And you wouldn't want to tell your work colleagues. Absolutely. But as I say, online pharmacies, legitimate online pharmacies, will provide a solution for people. Understood. Dr. Charlie Eismon, thank you so much for your time today. That thank wraps you, up Tip TV Health for today. Thank you.